Well, good morning, friends. Good morning, Saints, on this very windy Tuesday morning. Thank you so much for uh, joining me. Let's go for a quick walk down to the river on this gorgeous morning. And uh, hopefully this uh, little next five minutes is going to be super encouraging to you. Um, I don't know what you're facing today. I don't know. Uh, good, bad struggles. But uh, I do know that we've got hope. We have got hope in the midst of anything and everything this world can throw our way. We still have hope. And this isn't just a, you know, a shot in the dark, I hope it happens, kind of, you know, I hope I win the lottery, even though I don't buy tickets. It's not that kind of blind, you know, shot in the dark kind of hope. But we're talking today about something that is absolutely 100%, you can't get more than 100%, right? So absolutely 100% guaranteed, all right? So if it is 100% guaranteed, then you can hope in it, all right? You don't see it right now. Um, sometimes you don't even see any signs of it. You're like, oh man, it seems like you know, a long way away. Let me tell you something. What I'm going to tell you about today is 100% guaranteed. Whether you see, you know, the, the shadow of it or not, whether you see the beginnings of it or not. But you know what? Even just looking right here, I can see the beginning of this blessed hope that I'm talking about. So what am I talking about? Let's go to the, the book of Titus. Titus, Old uh, New Testament. One of the little, little letters in the New Testament. Titus chapter 2. Um, Titus chapter 2. I want to read verse 13. And oh, before I do, heads up on the context. Read this whole, actually just read the whole letter. It's a short letter. Um, but Titus chapter 2 talks about how we as believers, as followers of Christ, um, believers in the Messiah and followers of Christ, how we ought to live. All right. And uh, so he talks about, you know, holiness and righteousness and, you know, treating other people well and like real, real practical stuff. And he says, but we do this. And here's kind of the motive behind all of it. The, you know, the gas that's powering this behavior. And uh, <laughs> this is great. So he talks about the grace of God in verse 11. And it teaches us to say no to uh, ungodliness and worldly passions, to live self-controlled. And then here's this verse 13. Can you read that? Um, you might be having a hard time. I'm going to try. All right. Verse 13. While we wait for the blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. So we live obediently, pleasing our God, we can only do that by His grace and mercy, but that's part of this. And we do all this while we wait for the blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. So here's the encouraging news, as I'm calling you to uh, you know, obedience and maybe suffering and maybe sacrifice and whatever it's gonna take to, you know, to be pleasing to our God calling you to holiness and saying no to ungodliness. And as tough as some of this all might sound, it really isn't when you've got your perspective, when you've got your eyes on that blessed hope that we're waiting for. That one day, one day, these skies, these skies are going to open. And one day, the trumpet's going to sound. And one day, our Lord is going to come back. And we are going to see Him in His glory. We are going to see Him in His power. We are going to see Him for who He really is. And we are literally going to be blown away. And we're going to be taken away if we have been waiting for this blessed hope. So friends, 
Let's live for Him. Let's abide in Him. He is our life. He is our source of everything. So let's abide in Him today as we wait for this blessed hope. Let's pray. Father, thank you for these words. Thank you, Father, for the blessed hope that we have. Yes, we do. A blessed hope. Thank you for that, O oh God. And might it be front and center. Might it be in our face all day today so that we might live in righteousness and saying no to ungodliness around us. Father, might we keep our eyes on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you so much today, friends. God bless you. Cheers.